how can we use AI models like Dolly to reimagine everyday household objects? If you don't know what Dolly is, Dolly is an image generation model from a company called OpenAI. You use it by entering text known as a prompt and getting back images. It's really that simple. Today, we're going to be reimagining the everyday household object of a table lamp. I wondered what Dolly would come up with. This is what I found out. If you've tuned into any of my videos, I think it's pretty obvious. I have a futurist bent on this channel. Uh, so I started with something, you know, just simple to warm up. This is a table lamp in the style of Blade Runner 2042. I love how cool and futuristic and sci-fi all of these lamps look. In the past, you've seen me use prompts like in the style of the Sahara Desert. I thought I'd switch it up. This time it's just a table lamp in the style of a cactus. Uh, I chose it because they're a very similar shape and I just think it's a cool theme to base a table lamp on. Next, if you tuned into the previous videos on this channel, you know I'm a big fan of brutalism. So here you have it. This is a brutalist lamp. I have experimented with other styles too, like Art Deco. I think there's something about brutalism. It just looks so futuristic while also looking minimal. It's aggressive. I think it has, you know, different kinds of lighting, harder lighting. Uh, in the future, I will mix it up more, but you should just know, like, I, I personally just love brutalism, which is why I love exploring it too on this channel. Next, we're exploring the table lamp in the style of geometric patterns. As you know, this style is colorful. It's got a lot of interesting shapes. There's always some cool stuff going on, and I just think it's fun. I love the simplicity and colors for this one. Fred Gehry is a legendary architect. I always love to see how different things look in his unique style. I love the color of this one, the yellow, as well as the interesting shape. I love the different shape of this one. I like the shader, how, how different the shade is. This one is a little bit more abstract. And I definitely love the colors and the unique shape of this one too. Maximalism is another style we love to explore on this channel. I think you always get some interesting shapes. You get an interesting variety. Uh, this one right here is very abstract, very aggressive. Um, this one is a little bit more simple. I, I love maximalism. I think it helps us fully explore the capabilities of Dolly. And like I mentioned in previous videos, I think Dolly, because it's seen so much data of images and stuff, it probably excels at maximalism way more than a typical human. Next, I thought I'd look at some kind of pop culture reference, in this case, My Little Pony. I love how fun all of these lamps are, how cute they are, how they incorporate the imagery and that brand of that cartoon so well. Uh, and I also just think all of these are pretty fun. In the style of origami is always fun to add into your props. You always get some interesting shapes. You always get interesting colors. And perhaps this is something we, we haven't fully explored out in the real world, but Dolly allows us to do this now. We're once again exploring legendary architect Zaha Hadid. I think a lot of these lamps have her aggressive approach to form uh, some interesting, interesting shapes going on here that also look pretty futuristic and, and perhaps even abstract. Finally, I thought it'd be interesting to experiment with something a little bit more different. So this is a photo of a table lamp in the style of rocks from the beach.
finally, we always close out these videos in a really fun way. So here it is. This is the self-portrait of a table lamp, how it sees itself. If you're interested in the original high full resolution images which Dolly generated, which we're using in this video, I'm going to be posting them on my Twitter account. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video and are subscribed for more upcoming videos on Dolly 2.